This is right now the next best option for those who are looking to go dairy free and want to see an open amino acid profile and want a little bit of help with all their macros as well as all their vitamins and minerals. Welcome to Price Plow. Yes, what's up Price Plow Nation? This is Mike Roberto, founder of Price Plow. And today we're gonna put our vegan hats on because I got a hot one for you here. We're talking about vegan nutrition, that is vegan with a U, vegan nutrition's vegan mass. A vegan mass gainer. But as we're gonna talk about later on in the video, I think this might be better called a vegan meal replacement and we'll talk about why. I'm really impressed with this formula. But first, we're gonna, we're gonna throw down the disclaimers. We're gonna do things a little bit differently here. First off, disclaimer, Vegan Nutrition is sponsoring a spot on our vegetable protein page. So I gotta let you know that there is a business relationship and this product was sent for free. It is not open yet. And they also sent a couple shakers and a couple shirts. But what we're gonna do here, and so I gotta, you gotta let you know the conflict of interest, make the lawyers happy, flash it up, lawyers happy. Okay, but I'm gonna be honest with you because I told them, listen, I'm not a vegan. So everyone watching this needs to know that I am not a true vegan, but I'm not against it either. So I'm willing to go down that road. We do sometimes put on our vegan hats to, uh, you know, give the vegans a little bit of extra leeway when it comes to the, to the taste because we're used to drinking whey protein, casein protein, and basically are like milkshakes. Well, the vegans don't have the dairy-based stuff to, uh, you know, to be able to cheat with on the taste side of things, but this product's got some carbs involved, so I think we're gonna take away a little bit of that uh, leeway that we give to the vegans here, and they're talking up some big game with the chocolate fudge. Now, as you can see, this tub is unopened, so what we're gonna do, uh, this isn't gonna be a review so much in that I'm gonna review it because I haven't been running it, obviously. We're gonna, you're just gonna be able to look at me and see what my initial taste impressions are. Now what's cool is they sent this shaker cup and it's clear, so we're gonna use that. I have 13 ounces of cold water. They say to use 12 to 14 ounces. And if you two scoop this, you're gonna get 360 calories, 40 grams of protein, 40 grams of carbohydrates. So you got a one to one even split. And then I believe, ooh, Let's take a look. I believe it is, yes, yeah, six grams of fat. Only one of those are saturated. And out of the, the carbohydrates, we have nine grams of fiber. So that's what we're dealing with here. And we'll talk about all the constituents later on. Well, I think we should just go right into the uh, taste test right off the bat and just you see the look on my face when it happens. Now, when they send these shakers, and I think they are sending a lot of them free with uh, some of the purchases. They do send this contraption inside, but we toss that out because I don't do blender balls on these reviews. I, I know that not everyone has one. It's, I'm sure it's great to have a blender ball or something to break it up, but not everyone has one in their shakers. And we review with water, with just nothing, no, no tools, no fancy gimmicks to make it mix better. So if it's gonna mix good, it's gotta mix good on its own. There are some extra proteins in here that might make it smooth. We'll get into that a little bit later. There's no rice protein. Rice protein's often gritty. So I'm expecting a smooth texture, but I ain't cheating with that device in here. All right, so <laughs> leave your comments below. Anyway, let's, uh, let's weigh out a scoop real quick. And we're gonna do two scoops actually on post-workout. That'll be 360 calories. And we'll switch over to camera two. We're gonna weigh out a scoop and then we're gonna do a taste test and then I'm gonna dig into the profile. Hopefully it's good because I'm drinking this whole thing no matter what. All right, let's go to camera two. Wait, I just opened it and I do smell, it smells like a vegan protein straight up. Smells like there is that uh, vegetable-like base where it's a little bit of that pea protein base, but I do get a decent whiff of chocolate too. So. Uh, we'll see about the whole chocolate fudge th cake thing, but it smells like they're mixing a kind of a bust of both worlds here where you do have the vegetable stuff, but I'm getting some of that chocolate too. All right, back to camera two. All right, camera two activated. Terrence scoop. We're looking for a total of 99 grams, so I want 45 grams in each scoop. Each scoop should be 45, yeah, 44.5 grams or so. Okay, so look at this. We have nearly perfect scoop because two of these is gonna be uh, right at 100 grams, so I am stoked about that. They did a good job with that. And let's just do another one, maybe a dash lighter. Okay, let's start over. Here's scoop two. All right, we are nearly perfect. A 50 and a 49. That gives us a 99 gram scoop, and you can see this piling up in the shaker cup. I'm gonna give this a vigorous shake. Back to camera one. All right, we're back to camera one. Scoops weighed out like deadly accurate, which is awesome. Now we gotta, I'm gonna give this a vigorous shake because let's be real. Oh wow, okay, that already mixed pretty, pretty well. It's just a bit of shaking. So we'll talk about some of the stuff in here. This is stevia sweetened, 
but they're also using compound solutions. And I, you know, I'm a fanboy for compound solutions. They got so many, they got the dynamine, the tea cream, they're selling all the good stuff, but they also have the clean cream in here. And we're starting to realize that we like a lot of stuff that has the clean cream inside. Anyway, mixing quite well. That's a clear shaker. Let's do a pour. We're going to do some B-roll too, but I'm going to really quickly go and grab a, uh, grab a cup to pour. No crap on that. That's just liquid right there. Okay. So usually this is tough. I'm going to, let's see how I can do this. Usually it focuses on me instead of the thing. So give me a good pour. That is smooth. I'm not sure what you saw there. I tried to get out of the way. This thing doesn't know where to focus. Okay, that's definitely a vegan protein. It is not as good as our ways, but that is really, whoa, okay, that's a good aftertaste too. That's really, I have no stevia afterbite. That's really good for the vegans out there. Man, they're stepping their game up. Look how like smooth and creamy that is up on the wall there. Are you gonna focus ever, camera? I'm no good at that. That's really smooth and creamy for vegans. I think it could be a little bit sweeter. Okay, yeah. So coming from, coming from a non-vegan perspective, I'm not, gonna, I'm not really gonna recommend this right off the bat on, taste point, on a taste point for the non-vegans out there. I still think that the, the way is better, um, but compared to other dairy-free options and not having rice protein in there, rice protein tastes better, but it's a little bit gritty. They did a really good job of not dealing with that. And we'll talk about the, the protein sources involved to do it. Uh, my, my one feedback is that I would amp up the, the, the stevia a little bit if possible, because I got no stevia aftertaste and I could use a little bit more sweetener in here. And that's, that's my one little bit of truth here. Maybe turn some of these, um, and we'll talk about the carb blend. I don't think there would be a horrible issue with using it, just a little bit of cane sugar as some of the carbs instead of some of the others, but we'll see why they're using these carbs. And so Vegan Nutrition is a company that's attacking the athletes. Now looking at this label, I'm like, I'm like thinking that there's a lot of vegans out there this covers a lot of the, defic the deficiencies that vegans commonly have. And so the profile itself, if you're a vegan, maybe on the smaller side or whatever, doing like three fourths of a scoop or even half a scoop with a half amount of water, like, you know, so actually one scoop, which is half a serving with like six or seven ounces of water. And you're going to start covering some bases. You're going to bump up your protein and everything. And that's what a lot of vegans need. They need a lot of the vitamins and the minerals that are uh, lacking in the traditional vegan diet. And I'm not saying that to criticize veganism because it's a challenge to do it right, just like it is with keto or even sometimes carnivore. So like, you know, we're getting into these extreme, more extreme diets and people want to be, you know, more into the plant-based proteins, but you can't just do it haphazardly. And a lot of people do that and then things don't look good. And I've seen that bo on both the keto and the vegan fronts. So this is like a meal replacement, in my opinion, because of all the different vitamins and minerals that we're going to get into. Now, first, let's start with the protein blend. I'm going to cap this up. That's the smoothest vegan protein I've had. Still want a little more sweet in there. I, I honestly maybe add a little sugar myself. Okay, so 360 calories. We're talking about 40 grams of protein. Now there is a proprietary blend on the proteins. We'll throw up a label and everything. So the protein blend is the pea protein isolate, and that is going to bring a, the most of the flavor that we're getting that we call yeah you know, that I consider vegetable like, and. Most vegans should be used to the pea protein taste and you're going to get it here. Now pea protein is good because it's got a very full essential amino acid blend. So what's cool about this label, we'll throw it up, is that there's a full amino acid blend that's shown. We have the essentials, the conditionally essentials, and the non-essential amino acids here. Now the cool thing with this blend is that the pea protein brings the full essential amino acids. It has a whole profile, it's a complete protein in that aspect, and leucine's looking pretty good here comparatively to the whey. There are, you know, this is definitely different than the amino acid blend you're going to see compared to a whey protein. Uh, for instance, lysine is going to be a little bit lower, methionine is going to be a little bit lower. In general, most of the EAAs are still a little bit lower in these vegetable proteins than they're going to be in a dairy or an animal-based protein. Uh, but some of the conditionally essential amino acids are going to be a little bit higher. And that's, that's kind of good, but at the same time, vegans need to be very aware that you need to get as much of the full amino acid, full essential amino acids in as possible because you can't, they're essential. You can't synthesize them yourself. And so that's an important thing. That's why I'd like to see this label. And the best thing is that leucine is pretty good. But, you know, still, if you're vegan, you have to realize this still isn't going to be as good as a whey. Now, with that said, what they're doing here is that they're adding in two different types of proteins here. And one of them is 
a new one called Sachi Inchi Protein. Now this is an Amazonian shrub that has the most interesting looking like star shaped fruits that have these huge seeds and you can pull out uh, the protein from these seeds and it turns out that these seeds provide all sorts of really good omega-3 fatty acids. Um, the, the oils are really good. Now we don't know how much of the fat profile is coming from what ingredients unfortunately, but they're not really going out of their way to add other fats to this. So I, I, I like that some of the fat might be coming from the Sachi Inchi because there's a lot of research showing how beneficial this stuff is. You, you know, you see people throwing around the word superfood a lot. And this is one of those. But if you look at the research, there's a lot of like anti-inflammatory, pro-cardiovascular health kind of benefits from this Amazonian shrubs seeds that look like big nuts. <laughs> so they're pretty, it's really interesting. We got, we'll have the picture up there. And, uh, and so that's, that's one of the protein sources. The other protein source comes from our friends over at Compound Solutions. Apparently they have something called Smooth Protein. And this is their vegan protein blend where they have three different, uh, they have kind of some different options. And this option that they chose to use here was actually watermelon seed protein. And so they're calling that Smooth Protein. And that's, so that's, that makes a trifecta of amino acids and proteins that are, that are coming in here. And you're getting a total of 40 grams of that. That's a, that's a serious chunk. And in fact, for a lot of vegans out there, I think that might even be too much for one serving. But at the same time, vegan nutrition, if you look at their social media, look at their mission statements, they're going after the athletes. And I think it's a great idea because there are a lot of vegans out there who are athletes who need like post-workout situation, you need the, you want, they want the carbs and you need the protein. And then fats, yeah, you don't really necessarily need that too close to your workout, uh, but there's some healthy fats in here as well. Time out for a sip. It's like the taste is hanging in my mouth and I, I want more. So it's, it's doing good. I'm in a post-workout situation too, which is which is probably why I'm hungry, and it's definitely a good lingering. So uh, yeah, and as far as the vegetable proteins, I'm pretty happy with all that. Now let's talk about the carbohydrates because here's where they here's where they did something really interesting that I think the um, the athletes are gonna like out there. I think I, any vegan out there is gonna like. A lot of vegan dieters are out there for the health benefits, longevity benefits, assuming they can do it right, and assuming they can get all their vitamin and mineral deficiencies sorted out, which this product seems like it definitely can help out with. Now they're using two carbohydrates. And once again, Compound Solutions have come up here. This is their third. They're gonna have three ingredients in here. Carb 10. Now this is from pea starch and Car Compound Solutions has some charts out there. I have not been able to get the data behind these charts, but they're saying that this is a, so it's a faster digesting carbohydrate that has a lower glycemic response. And what's cool about that is that it's not going to, it's not going to spike your blood sugar. The vegan diet essentially a lot of times turns into a high carb diet and then you can get stuck on the whole blood sugar roller coaster thing. With this, it's going to be a lower glycemic response but it's going to be, uh, it, but it should be digesting very fast. So it's called carb 10 and that's your first carbohydrate source. We don't know how much and what, you know, I, I'm assuming some of the carbs are coming from the protein sources and then some of the carbs and, but most of the carbs are coming from the carb 10. It is a proprietary blend between carb, carb 10 from Compound Solutions and then mod carb from Futureceuticals. Now Futureceuticals is another trusted uh, ingredient supplier that we like a lot. They make a product called uh, Elev ATP that, uh, that increases ATP levels. Begins might be interested in that as well. And so so they, uh, anyway, th that is a carbohydrate blend that comes from a whole bunch of different starches that I'll read here. Oat bran, amaranth, quinoa, buckwheat, millet, and chai. Is it kai? Chai? If I was a real vegan, I'd know that. So anyway, this is uh, the slower digesting, but once again, low glycemic response. Compared to garbage like maltodextrin, this is not gonna spike your blood sugar and put you on the up and down crash. And that's what's cool about this, this product. Now with that said, Given the, the taste profile that I have here, I actually wouldn't mind maybe a dash of cane sugar, especially in a post-workout situation. That is a decent time to be spiking your insulin. But in general, if used as a meal replacement, even for those who are non-athletes, I think this is a great idea because you're gonna get a little bit of the slow carbs that aren't gonna do anything crazy to you, but they're gonna bump the, you're also gonna bump the protein up and you're gonna have some healthy fats. And that's what's important for vegans. Vegans, and you gotta track your diet. Put it in MyFitnessPal and you'll, and you'll see. And the same goes for keto dieters, everyone else. And that's, a lot of times my issue when you start dieting without tracking protein sometimes falls by the wayside that's very easy on the vegan diet this can help you now at the same time i don't know if everyone can handle 40 grams of protein all at once at some point some of that might spill over into gluconeogenesis and it gets converted to blood sugar and stuff but i think three-fourths of a serving or one and a half scoops is going to be a good range for everyone that's going to save you a little bit of money too or you could space it out and do like one scoop in the you know 
once we sometime pre-workout, once to sometime post-workout, and then you have a good spread. That's actually how I would use this as a vegan if I were a vegan. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll someday experiment with that, but but that's not on the on the table for now. Then comes uh, the cocoa, so that's going to provide a little bit of carbs too. And you can tell there's a good bit of cocoa here, and they needed to do that, and they did, which is good. And then the clean cream, which is another vegan sourced. And this is this product, I believe, is going to be certified vegan. There's a ton of certified vegan ingredients inside of here. And so clean cream has uh, is using sunflower oil and tapioca starch mostly. And as we can see, and I'll have some B-roll up here, this blended crazy smooth, and it didn't take much shaking to do it. And I threw away that plastic cheater thing either too. So yeah, I mean, my, 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 yeah, my biggest feedback, I'd add more stevia, possibly a little bit of cane sugar. I, I don't think that's, a, I, I don't know. I don't know the vegan market, but I think that they are so close to nailing this perfectly. I would tune up the stevia just a little bit, but it's really, this is, this is what vegans need right here. Now what you have is after that, you're going to get into the flavors. So next is Coke Organic, which is a certified organic coconut water extract. Uh, that usually provides a lot of potassium. It really depends. Sometimes those coconut water extracts are just like turn into sugar water. I really can't speak to this one as I don't know it, but it is certified organic. A lot of people love coconut water post-workout. So that's getting included in a lot of stuff. I'm not sure you know, really how it's altering this supplement in general. And then after that, the other added feature is a digestive enzyme blend. I think this is important for vegans. First off, um, in order to, to digest plant matter properly, cellulase is a, is the digestive enzyme to break down the plant fibers. So that is included. But also, pepain and protease are the digestive enzymes that help you break down proteins. And that helps you break them down into their constituent amino acid forms. So some people go vegans, they don't do good with, with meat, they don't do good with like protein sources in general, but you still need to get protein. So maybe you just need to upregulate your protease, protease a little bit, or you just need to supplement a little bit of protease. That's included here to help you digest that. And then and additionally, there's amylase. Now amylase is the uh, digestive enzyme that helps you break down carbohydrates, break down starches into to their into their um you know, monosaccharide forms, I believe, and that helps you, and that is often found in the saliva. For whatever reason, first off, some people don't chew enough. So chew your food. That'll help you break down your di your uh, carbohydrates better. But you know, this isn't really a chewing product, so it includes amylase. Second, some people for whatever reason don't have as much amylase in their saliva. And when that happens, I don't know if that's like a, it, I wouldn't call it a medical condition. I think it's just maybe a genetic thing or maybe something that we've been eating over the course of time. But when that happens, I have a feeling that like some of the research shows that the blood sugar response is higher if you have lower amylase. Meaning if you have more amylase to break down the carbohydrates before they get to your gut, there is some data showing that uh, increased amylase consumption like we have in here has a lower blood sugar response. And in general, a lot of the us dieters out there are looking to keep blood sugar under control. So that's a great ingredient to include here on top of the low glycemic carbohydrates we have here. So you can start to see like, okay, they're putting together this story here with this product. And I'm like, this is a really well formulated supplement with a lot of trusted ingredients. There's no crappy carbs in here. It's like a lot of trusted ingredients from the companies that we already like. And so I really love what they're doing here. And they got the full amino acid profile. Like things are going well here. On top of that, then we have the monk fruit extract labeled as Luo Han Guo. And then finally, here's the part I really like. You have a vegan vitamin and mineral blend. Now vegans, as we know, they have a lot of deficiencies. Americans in general who don't eat right have a ton of vitamin deficiencies. But vegans in general have problems with vitamin B, not enough magnesium, not enough calcium. Iron can be a problem and even iodine. I'm a big junkie for iodine. Don't get me started on that. But anyway, a lot of these are covered and they're not covered at like 100% you know, US RDA doses because remember, this is like a meal replacement. This isn't something you should be eating all day long or just one is like a multivitamin. It's like one to help cover some bases, help. The word supplement, help cover your bases. So anyway, for instance, vitamin A, 30%, vitamin C, 30%. You have, uh, where are we, the vitamin B12, 17%, iron, 44%, that helps a lot. Calcium, 10%. So calcium still might be a challenge for some people. Make sure you're aware of what your calcium numbers are. Magnesium, 30%. That's perfect. A lot, wait, everyone's too deficient in magnesium. Don't get me started. And then uh, where's the iodine? Iodine, 30%. I'm a big fan of iodized salt. Maybe it doesn't taste as good, but anyway, 
Make sure you're getting enough iodine in. Your thyroid craves it. So in general, I'm thinking this is like the kind of supplement that would actually make me more comfortable about going vegan because of the added vitamin and mineral blend, because it's gonna help you bump up your protein sources and everything, and because it's very smooth. This is the smoothest vegan protein I've had yet, and I haven't tried them all or anything, but it's pretty clear they put a lot of effort into making it smooth and adding a ton of cocoa, which I'm never gonna complain about. But as for our regular viewers, I still think that if you are able to handle dairy-based proteins, whey protein, between the amino acid profile and the taste, um, even the stevia-based whey proteins still are gonna taste better. But this is like an option that, this is right now the next best option for those who are looking to go dairy-free and want to see an open amino acid profile and want a little bit of help with all their macros as well as all their vitamins and minerals. I'm very, very up on this. Uh, but at the same time, I still think you got to dial to sweetness. i probably going to add a little bit of stevia packet myself with the rest of these, and then I'm going to score it a lot higher. But when i got to add a little bit on my own, yeah, you know what, that takes a little bit from their own score. Overall, though, for vegans, this is definitely one you got to look into. And you got to look at the uh, sources cited on our blog post to look at like what are the deficiencies out there, track them in MyFitnessPal, and make sure you're not going deficient on a regular basis on too many of these things. Otherwise, you know, things, bad things might start happening. You're starting to get in the funk and everything. And that, that goes for keto, and that goes for carnivore, that goes for all sorts of dieters. Make sure you cover your bases. Make sure it's stuff that your body can either synthesize itself or you have to supplement it. And so this is Mike with Pricewell. So far, vegan mass, I'm gonna say Pricewell proof for vegans, for the whey protein drinkers out there, we're not yet there, but we're getting much closer. I do love the, the I do love the carbohydrate blend and vegan nutrition is going after the athletes. And I think the vegan athletes, there's a growing segment out there. You guys gotta check this out. You guys and gals gotta check this out because this one is currently what I think is the best kind of meal replacement slash weight gainer for the vegan demographic. And that's a product that's desperately needed for some of them. All right, Mike with Pricewell, thank you so much for watching. We had a good time. If you want me to put the vegan hat on again, well, we'll do it again soon because we have some other regular vegan protein powders out there. They ain't gonna be as smooth as this one though. We'll see you on the next one. Welcome to Price Plow. And Stevia, and then you have a vegan vitamin mineral brand. Now, <laughs> I say brand, that was no good. <laughs>